Hello and welcome back to the Western Front of the Great Patriotic War. The British RAF began conducting bombing raids on the Axis cities in July 1941, which will stretch until December 1941. The early bombing missions revealed that only about one in three bombers were able to hit their mark within five miles of their target. And what that means for us, I don't really know. Probably not a whole heck of a lot. Target, manpower, damage, 20. Was that like 20 people? <laughs> I don't know. Who cares? The Brits are useless. Anyways, what's not useless is our lovely army, reinforced by 30 divisions, over 300,000 men. And we've brought some planes onto the map last turn as well. The 75th SAD. Um, featuring 11 or 32 I-16 Type 29s. And then up in uh, Staricia, Staria Russa, I should say, uh, we've got another 32. And then back here in Edravo, We've got a couple of IL-2 squadrons and another I-16 squadron. So we got some serious air power and punch in this region, and we're gonna probably gonna need it as we don't have a ton of reinforcements to toss around right now. Um, but we might put on a little little touch of ground support just to just to help out this line over here. Now, one thing I want to check out is what is the status of some of our air bases here. How long will it take to build them? Not too long. Apparently they're they're done. I guess just the just the I I level one air base is just like a, a clear strip of grass essentially. So I guess it, it only takes a turn to build. Which is good news for us. We're probably going to want to improve a couple of these in the back, though. So I'm going to start an expansion project on some of these rearward ones, like Kashin. Uh, basically, all these ones where I gave them sappers. I'm I'm going to I'm going to also expand them. Um, I, I'm not going to have time to do that with any of these. Well, maybe I will. Maybe with this one. Might as well give it a shot, right? Um, but uh, the rest of them are all kind of in risky positions, so I won't I won't even bother with it. Kalinin is already a level two. Uh, it might be up worth it to upgrade that to a level three, actually. Not sure. We'll leave it as is for now because it doesn't have any sappers attached to it. All right. What about in the north? Are we going to have enough airfields up here? Probably not. I would think this one needs to get upgraded. Let's give that a construction unit. Let's see. I guess I'll, I'll take one from the Bryansk front. They don't really need that many. I think that costs us one AP, which is, is worth it, because we want these finished as quickly as possible. Because we're going to need air bases in safer locations. I probably should have gotten cracking on these a long time ago, but it is what it is. In the meantime, we can at least slap down a few more, just in case. Okay, so what we need to do here is to try and fly some interdiction some little something that we can do 
just to slow down some of these divisions. Hmm. I'm thinking of bringing in some recon planes. Eh, screw it. I don't need them yet. I'll, I'll save them for the offensive. I was thinking of trying to scout them out a little bit up in this area here, just to get a better idea of what our defenders can do, because you do get better defensive stats if you have them scouted. Um, but it's not really worth it. Uh, overall, we just start, we're going to have to bring in some reinforcements up here. We want to try to keep the line short, though, if we can. All right, what do we have? Um, we need to move this back. A little ways. Okay. That should protect us there. This airbase is pretty much toast. And we are getting closer to our supply lines, so that's actually kind of good uh, so the good news is with this this front we do we did have a somewhat of a defense in depth strategy already cooking the problem is that we didn't occupy these two hexes here and so now we do have a bit of a situation where they can kind of steamroll right through us. I mean, we're going to do our best to hold out, but uh, we don't have a ton of stuff we can bring down there that's already ready to fight. Like, yeah, we could transfer over stuff from the back, I guess. But... Don't necessarily know if that's going to work either. Damn, this 18th tank division all of a sudden is fat. Holy cow. I guess sticking him onto the, the depot and putting him on reserve really does the job, huh? Seems like if you're on refit and you're not on a depot, it does does jack but if you're on the depot you're getting some, some nice stuff back uh can we move these guys somewhere more useful like let's move them up here okay now let's check out our missions for the Northwestern Air Command. So we are still going to fly this mission. And we are... Um, I think we're going to have to fly... Something a little bit less aggressive here. Let's knock this down to a 2. And what we really want to fly is air superiority over our our rail lines here. Um, yeah. What if we did that at three?
wondering why. So this seventeenth IAP. Oh, that's that's the one I moved up there. Why is the sixth IAP out of range? says they're at Kretzky, which should be in range of this, should it not? Okay, so now they're in range, but the 75th is not. So the 283rd IAD, why is, what is the range on this? Why is it so crappy? I mean, it's, it's inside of his range circle, right? Just the range circle circles were a bit of a different color. Kind of drives me nuts that they're so illegible. Like that's the that's the line. So like, it's well within his range circle. Why does it say he's out of range? What am I missing here? All right, what if I go down to two? Does that now bring it in his range? No. If I fly it right over his ass. It's it's above you, you stupid bastard. Oh, it's an issue of the staging base, I think. Oh, I, I bet that's what it is. Right, I think that's maybe what it is. Let's clear assignments. Okay, so now if it's staging out of Edrovo, it's actually getting the, the proper amount of planes. But if I bump it up to three, I bet it does not. Oh, it does. All right, so that's the mission I want to fly. Okay. Very nice. Okay, that should work, I think. I think. So we'll, I mean, these are kind of competing air directives, but uh, I think that should work. And now what we want to do is bring in some more planes. Uh, this is a new air base. I'm trying to find the existing ones. I should have done this before. Okay, so this one's existing. Um, let's bring in an AOG. We'll bring in the 8th IAD, which is a bunch of fighters and fighter bombers. Um, but whatever. We'll bring them all in. I think we're over capacity here, so let's... Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to bring him into the Leningrad. Air Command, I wanted to put him under Northwestern. Okay, and then I wanted to spread some of these out, so... 
So we'll put the MIGs and a Yak. Put some of them into this base. Execute air transfer planned. These are going to be heading over there next turn because they obviously can't move this turn. But by planning this, this kind of pre-supplies these, these air bases, which is what you want. God damn it, I didn't want all of them to go. I wanted to leave one or two of them in there. So annoying. Okay. Execute air prints for planned. Okay, one. Two. And then Three can go over there. No, that didn't work. Whatever. That's fine. I'll leave it like that. Okay. I'll just move them all around. I don't care. I'll deal with it next turn. I'm done with clicking those buttons. What is the other new news? Oh, partisans. Why do they have to talk about the stupid partisans every turn? They're not really doing anything for me. Let me know when you start taking hexes. I know that's not how it works in this game, but this is, I think it's funny. All right. All right. I think we're in good shape here. So now what we want to do with the 75th IA or SAD rather is I do want to fly a ground attack on this hex in front of us here or maybe the hex behind it and we'll focus on interdiction and unit attack just to slow them down potentially We'll fly that on day one, and then on day two, we'll fly it at the second hex. Actually, we'll give them a rest. We'll fly it on day five. Confirm. Confirm. So their escorts are not available because they're out of range. And they have no free mileage. Oh, those are the new guys I brought in. Yes, that's the eighth ID. So, these are just out of range, which is kind of to be expected. It is a longer mission. They're escorting them part of the way, at least. Whatever. They're going to get, we're going to have some losses, but they're just dial twos. Who cares? We'll bring some more in. Actually, maybe we'll, we'll preemptively bring some more in. Gonna be going to why can I not change the whatever? Bring in some more IL twos. Another squadron of them. And we'll reassign them to Northwestern Air Command, and they could be under the command of. Um, I guess the 75th? 
Come to the same group. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so what do we want to do? We don't really have any planes in here yet. Um, so we should probably start rotating some of these Moscow groups over there. I moved them way the hell back to get them out of the way originally. But I'm now wondering what we want. Thinking, bring in a bomber group and a mixed group or two. Actually, I think of these first three groups are what I'm going to bring in, potentially. Well, no, I'll bring, bring in the 23rd TVAD, 43rd SAD, and the 77th SAD. Okay, so you can transfer here, plan transfer, Moscow Air Command, 23rd TBAD, um, they can be a little bit further back, so like here. I guess they're kind of overstacking there. What's the deal? I don't know why they're overstacking. I guess this is upgrading, so maybe that reduces capacity slightly. Or maybe it just has really crappy capacity to begin with. All right, and then we want the 46th SAD to move maybe to reserve. Okay, so now we want to be flying a little bit of air superiority over our important places. Firm, just one squadron on that. And then I think we'll also fly, oops, a new mission of ground attack. And this will be focused on, be a little bit of surprise interdiction bringing in supplies and such somewhere with some long range bombers. That is a airfield though. Just 
wondering if they can get there without getting intercepted. Does have a railyard? It is damaged. We'll set it to be a medium priority then. I've never been able to hit a, a rail yard, so I'm interested to see what the damage is like from just this one little mission. I'm just going to try to fly it a little bit further south in hopes that that might keep us away from... And this is one of the things that absolutely drives me nuts about these air missions. It's like the, the stupid block gets in the way. So you can't click on the point behind it to re to retarget it. It's so annoying. It it absolutely drives me insane. Like I wish there was a way to just hide this this little screen here. And and I just do not know if there is. If there is, and somebody knows, please tell me, because it drives me absolutely nuts not being able to click the the little button behind it. Here we shift. Control. No. Shift control. No. Nope. Got no idea. Cause like I've I've tried turning off the air groups thing, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. Definitely drives me nuts though. Fly a good amount of those missions, I don't know. Alrighty then. The Western Air Group. We're still flying air superiority of Bryansk. Although that's becoming more and more desperate. We could probably use some some interdiction or something onto this line here. I wonder wonder if we could stage some some planes closer by cuz that's almost in range of that. What about if I change change the target to over here? Oh yeah, that works. That does put us in range of some serious uh, serious bad guys, though. So let's change that to max interdict minimum unit. Do this one on day two. And then we'll have a strike over this on day three. I really should just change my doctrines to do ground attack, have a low unit and high interdict 
low rail yard and unit and high interdict. And we'll, we'll always set them to default on day one. Cool. Not just fly it all week. Oops. Well, ingress from the north. I think that's maybe safer. I mean, I would love to hit the junction here. But let's let's just add another one onto Gordina. Okay, that's just manpower. Maybe it, maybe that's not worth it. I think this this one over here is a rail yard. I don't know. It is just manpower. Where's the rail yard? Probably just at Gamel. All right. Well. Can at least slow him down a little bit. Okay, who's here? What groups are those from? Sixty third S A D. Just under the southwestern air command. Okay. All right, we're going to fly a bit of air superiority. Just over. Just over this hex. Okay. Now. Man, they really expanded out. Holy crap. A 
That's so scary. I hope they didn't make it over the river here too. Shoot. I'll have to send an infantry division over there to check it out. I wish I had some motorized divisions I could use. I'll see if I have any cav divisions in my stockpiles. I could use some recon planes, I guess. Do I have any recon planes down here? We could fly an air recon mission. At least he'd be escorted. Yeah, I think I'll do it. What the hell? All right. I think I'm going to leave all of these other commands because they're actually still still relevant. All right. And Odessa feels like it's going to hold out for so long. Cities are kind of OP in this game, I'm, I'm realizing. It feels like if you have defenders in a city and you can keep supplies into it, it's just like kind of an infinite defensive position compared to it doesn't matter what you have on the front lines it can always get blasted right through the city forts are strong and they build up fast so it's something to keep in mind the later in the war we go um we're, in some, we're definitely in some deep doo-doo over here but we're gonna have to bring in troops there's no way around it we need another army down here. I don't even know another freaking army group. But we don't have that. So I mean we're we're starting to pull people off the line from the southwestern front to go and deal with it, but they're not really ready yet. I mean the the good news is they are going right instead of immediately encircling us. So that was what I was scared of. I was just scared of the encirclement. But I mean, it does mean that they're they're pushing pretty far forward. Um, obviously, with the goal of capturing this city uh, on on time for them, which we we cannot allow. Um, I think that they're supposed to capture that city this turn, actually, in order to get the bonus. So. That makes sense that they would zoom over there like that. They're supposed to capture Kiev within three terms, which I can tell you ain't going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. They're supposed to capture Odessa by turn 17, which unless something massively changes here about the supply situation, um, I don't know if that's going to happen, to be honest. It seems like we're kind of holding out. Well, let's run our air campaign. I don't think we're going to move anything else around right now, except for this 20th SAD, which we're going to definitely move out of there. Let's transfer this. Perfect. 
which means we can now get that guy the hell out of here. And we can disband this depot. Don't need that anymore. What is left in this? I wish I could just have this airborne brigade steal those guns. They would actually use them much more effectively. And luckily this is not uh, not technically unready so they can move. Thank God. We'd hate to have to break that out of there. That would have been pain in the butt. I think what we have to do is try to do a little bit of a counteroffensive here just to retake some of these hexes. Um, in the meantime, maybe we'll fly one more mission, just a recon mission, um, just to see what's kind of like right here. Let's see what's like right there. Can I get an escort anywhere? I have no planes available. Where's this? Can I move you over here? Okay. All right. Now you have a you have an escort at least. All right, let's see how far the escort can go. Okay, that'll work, I think. I just want to see if there's anything there. All right. Let's execute air directives. We're going to lose some planes. A lot of planes. This is going to be a bad turn for plane losses. But we got to... Got to use the air force a little bit to find some some information and get some interdiction done. So it's this is kind of unavoidable stuff. Operational losses so far skyrocketing, but I think that's somewhat to be expected when we're flying this many sorties. flak losses not too too bad I was, I was actually expecting more flak losses so what that means is we probably didn't fly any missions directly over flak which is very good that's what I was trying to avoid it's also one of the good things about playing the manual air war is that your flak losses do seem to be a little bit lower compared to what I was getting when I first was trying out the game I I just put it on AI Air War but I do enjoy manually controlling it I think it's it's more fun yeah so that didn't find find Jack yeah so none of these had anything in them what about here this didn't have anything alright that's all really good news. What about this? Didn't didn't aid any air interdiction either time. That sucks. So these two missions did absolutely nothing. They must have been intercepted. I don't know. Don't know why they were just completely ineffective. But they were. That's good. We've got some air interdiction there. Yeah. Happy with that. Found a Hungarian HQ unit. That's interesting. All right. Well, that is where we're going to leave it tonight. To finish the air war. Um, check out a couple more of these spots. Uh, got some interdiction done there. That's good news. Very good. Plus seven. Wow. That's that's gotta be one of the best air interdiction we've missions we've ever flown. Like a single day of air interdiction and we got plus seven. That's great. Plus zero. That got intercepted, I guess. 
Um, let's see, what about this? We flew a lot of these missions here. We got like plus one every time, so can't complain with that. Didn't really lose a ton of planes. Good. Very good. Got plus two there. Plus three. Lost a few planes. Plus four in one mission. That's, that's better than expected. Yeah, I mean, overall, not a bad air campaign in that turn. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot to... You know what, I completely forgot that I was supposed to be flying additional anti-air. I'm such an idiot. I need to just put up all my planes. How are we not shooting them down, though? They're flying right over our bloody airfields. It's like, do we not scramble anything? Like, they're able to get shot down when they're, quote-unquote, on patrol, but they'll do nothing when you're, you're actually wanting them to do something. Like SpongeBob on patrol. Wee-woo. Wee woo wee woo wee woo. How much? Wow, you do get a ton of air recon value. I I don't know what that stat is. Is it? Is it might be on a scale of one to one hundred or something like that, or zero to one hundred. I would be very interested to know what kind of bonuses you get from, like, what does one point of air recon value translate to? I don't know. I mean, we did scramble 17 fighters against it, but didn't shoot down any. So, I don't know. It flew over flak, it flew over, like, what, whatever they have these missions set to, I want that because it seems so effective. All right, well, that's where we'll leave it for today. And next time, we'll deploy our new armies. We will try to salvage this very dangerous breakthrough push. Don't know how we're going to do that, but we're going to try. And then we will keep pulling out of the Kiev pocket, um, such as it is. They didn't really push it at all, which is for the best because we didn't want to fight. Oops, All right, ground. So like all the ground battles this turn were pretty much around Bryansk, which uh, that could use some help too, not going to lie. Just, I don't have a lot to throw there, throw its way. But most of the battles were either here or at Bryansk and Smolensk. So the, the Southwestern Front really had a kind of a turn off, which is interesting. I guess they chose that chose to maneuver instead. But they're really not they're not really set up to take us on turn thirteen. Um I mean these infantry here I mean maybe the infantry behind them is strong enough to do it, but these infantry here are I don't think strong enough to just push right through us. It's like these are th three brigade strength. These are just three infantry brigades. I guess they're just holding the line while the, the other guys get supply and come up. But um, I don't know. I'm, I'm having a hard time thinking that they're going to break through our level three forts because in just a few turns, these are all going to be level three. Like This one's already level three. We already have some level three forts here. Yeah, by one more turn, we're going to have a full line of level three forts on our southwestern side. South, well, basically the entire western flank of Kiev is going to be ringed by level three forts, and then the rest of it is protected by the river. So, I mean, we've got a pretty damn good defense. They have to go very far away to be able to encircle us. 
Now they are sending, or they're starting to send stronger divisions up to the north. And so maybe they're going to try to encircle us with just infantry, but that's not going to happen three turns either. Their best chance was to try to push right through us here, get into our reserves, and then encircle us. And I don't understand why they didn't do that. I don't know. I guess the AI just is trying to capture this objective and then maybe swing back around for it. Swing back around for Kiev. Unless they have enough panzers around here that they can just do both, which is very possible. They might be just gearing up to encircle us, in which case our current deployment is is probably the right thing to do because we we are sticking with defensive positions. So, I mean, that might be the way to go for now. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll do some thinking about it. And in the meantime, it should give us, it should buy us a little bit more time to maybe refit a couple of divisions up to fighting strength. Uh, like this mechanized division is, is kind of getting there. They, they're up in terms of manpower. They don't, they're still not getting a, a lot of vehicles, but they're getting some. Honestly, if this guy hadn't had the two admin failures, he probably would have been in good shape. So, I don't know. I'm thinking, and this guy didn't really get a whole lot this turn, unfortunately. But at least he's not routed anymore, so that's good, I guess. Oh, they were on supply priority too. Let's bump them up to a four this turn and see if that gets some supply. Yeah. I wonder if that's that's what my mistake was. Oh well. All right. Anyway. We'll see you next time on the Western Front of the Great Patriotic War, where hopefully we'll be mounting some repositioning offensives. See ya.